Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Gemini. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This could be somebody specifically on your mind, connected to or coming towards you, depending upon your situation. For your cards, Gemini, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot for your person, the Fortune Telling Tarot Deck by Yoshi Takamano, and if clarifiers are needed, the Anime Tarot. I'm recording this message for the energies of October, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you most need to hear it. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Gemini thinking overall about this connection or potential connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in the heart space? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Okay. Get the cards for the person on your mind, connected to you, or coming towards you. What are they thinking overall about this connection or potential connection right now? What is the person coming towards Gemini thinking overall? What are they thinking? What... Are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting this. What is happening in their heart space? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? It was interesting. The first card wouldn't come out at all. And then the rest cards came out like so, so smoothly, so quickly. It almost feels like after that initial, you know, moment of meeting or connecting or reconnecting um even if that takes you know a minute or it's a bit hesitant everything could really flow after that we have the magician on the bottom of the deck for your person aries and specifically gemini energy from me so somebody could definitely be thinking about you even like manifesting in and we're always manifesting whether it's intentional or not we're always creating our future attracting things to us based on what we're thinking feeling the actions we take is what we create it's how we create our manifestations. That's what the magician energy is all about. It uses all the aces in the tarot to manifest an ace of pentacles. There is somebody who is thinking. I mean, I feel like thinking specifically about you, but if it's somebody you haven't met yet, definitely thinking about the kind of person they want to be with, but, you know, really getting things clear in their mind and feeling their way through it. And even now taking initiative or action to move towards something, you know, together with you, with this magician. I feel like there's definitely somebody who wants you in their world, wants to be in your world. Could even be happening, you know, sooner than later here. Because for your energy, we've got the Knight of Swords, which is a very quick moving energy. Aquarius can be significant here. But you might absolutely definitely have somebody on your mind that you can't stop thinking about with this Knight of Swords. Like for me, because swords are thoughts and mental energy. And that's why the Knight of Swords is so quick, because thoughts move so quickly. We don't always pay attention to the direction where they're going. Sometimes our thoughts can, you know, land us in situations that we didn't mean to because we weren't really paying attention. That's why the Knight of Swords can be a little reckless. But, um, but you know, positive thoughts and thoughts around what it is that you really are clear about and sure about and trusting your intuition can also travel very quickly in the right direction. And I almost have this sense, like maybe there's something you've been thinking about hoping for, wanting for quite some time. And now everything just begins to like pick up and move quicker and more direct. And I feel like somebody could even be coming into your world, like taking you by surprise very, very quickly, because I feel like there's a lot of clarity here. I'm going to go ahead and get a, um, get a clarifier. Interesting. I just said clarity around what could be moving forward so quickly, but I do feel like there could be somebody on your mind, somebody you're interested in, somebody that you're wanting Wow, to um, 
to connect with. We have the Ace of Wands and it came out in reverse. Now, I always check these decks to make sure they're all upright, but somehow maybe I missed this, I don't know, or maybe it just got turned around at some point and I just didn't really notice it. But it almost feels like you could be thinking about somebody, but maybe you're like, I don't know if I wanna say the first word. I don't know if I wanna be the person to take the action. Like they're on my mind. I'm thinking about them. I like things to move you know, forward, but I don't know that I'm ready to take that action. Or you could be, you you know, um, you could be holding back even something that you're wanting to say or do, but it feels like it just keeps running through your mind. For your person, we have the justice energy. Libra could be significant. Ace of Wands, if I didn't mention all the fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius there. Um, with the justice energy, for me, that is balance. That is what you put out comes back to you. It is the law of the universe. It is the law of attraction. It is the way your universe is always balancing things out. It can be somebody wanting to do things in a just, in a right, in a fair manner. Um, could also be somebody who is, you know, feeling for you the way you feel for them. I almost see like a sense of guardedness, though, to this. Almost like the way that this Ace of Wands is in reverse. Like, you know, you might be holding back a little bit. This person is also just like maybe holding some things close to them. And, um, and I'm kind of curious about that as well. I never see that in that card. So the fact that I just kind of had that, I don't know, it's like almost like that feeling of somebody holding something like really tight to their, close to their heart. Um, and oh my goodness, we just had the death card and the moon. Okay, somebody might, Pisces energy for this moon, um, Scorpio for the death card. Um, there may have been some sort of ending. Maybe it was a little more painful or upsetting that, that this person has let on because there's something that is not what it appears, even being a little bit secretive here. I feel like Scorpio energy with a death card can also be kind of, kind of secretive, but... Um, it feels like with this justice energy and this death card, there's a few things I'm getting. For one, it could be very literal. Something could have literally like ended between the two of you and it's kind of turned this work person's world upside down. Like they could be overwhelmed with just the loss and the emptiness of how it feels because even if, you know, you aren't putting in the energy with this Ace of Wands in reverse, they still have those feelings and they're not, you know, it's almost like they're feeling like, I don't know how to to, I don't know how to express this. I don't know how to explore this. I don't know, you know, even what to say. It's almost like there's all this quiet and silence, but the feelings are still there. They're still present. Could also be somebody finalizing something, like going through a divorce or releasing some sort of past connection or something with the, um, the justice, which can literally be like finalizing legal things and putting an end to something once and for all so that they feel more ready. And I'm going to go ahead and get... One more clarifier on this. Let's see which deck. Okay. Um, to see what's going on. But um, it feels like there's been some sort of major transformation in this person's life. But I also, because I'm looking at what's going on in their heart space, there are like deep feelings for you. I don't feel like it's like, it's an ending of feelings. And we just had the temperance and it just jumped out. It's also here in the potential outcome. So I feel like there's something that your universe is working out, balancing out that could unfold in time, the right way, the right time. With the justice energy, the death energy, then clarified by temperance, Sagittarius can be significant here at the temperance. Even if somebody has gone quiet or there has been some sort of, you know, miscommunication or difficult ending or whatever the case, I do feel like this person could still be seeing signs, thinking of you, um, feeling this energy, feeling like, you know, maybe they should talk to you, say something, do something. I know this, this feels very specific to me and this obviously is not going to be every single person's story, but I have to read the cards, you know, honestly for what they are. And I feel like, you know, something could have ended, but this person is still like holding this hope for this two of cups in which you know for me temperance energy it is that two cups it is the love in the hands of the universe maybe they've just decided to be quiet and give you some space or wait a little bit but it's interesting because whatever the situation is whether they're ending or wrapping up something and coming you know so that they can come towards you or finalizing or releasing things from the past or maybe something ended between the two of you I feel like both of you are kind of hesitating to 
talk and speak up here, but it could definitely change. Um, wow, a lot of mirroring too, because I just noticed the justice is in your heart space. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But in your daily life, you've got the world card, all the fixed energies, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus can be significant. I love this world card. You guys hear me say it a lot with the lovers in this deck, the world card. I think the Hierophant has it. A few of the cards have this beautiful red ribbon, the red thread of fate, destiny that connects people that are meant to me. And I do feel like you are drawing somebody in. You're drawn to somebody. You're thinking about them. I feel like sometimes like we're so like we hold somebody so strong in our heart, like the whole universe is just like knows, you know, knows that we're feeling it and is working to bring it together. And there's something about this temperance and this world card. It's almost like your guides and angels are like looking at this whole experience, whatever is going on, and like working to bring the two of you together. I know that's really big. And these are just general love readings. And, you know, but sometimes I just have these really intense, like, I don't know, kind of epic visions come through. And it almost feels like your guides, your universe, they know who you are. They know what you're looking for. They know this love. They know this person. They know exactly where they're at in space. And they are like working so hard to bring this person into your world. So very interesting, very powerful for the world card to have something so strong like that come through. But for me, once again, with that red ribbon, it's like you feel the connection. Distance might separate you, you know, differences in your life, your background, your culture, your friend groups, your work, the way you see things, all these things can separate you. But there's this, you know, soul connection that draws the two of you together, regardless of all of that, of all those external things. And I feel like you are attracting somebody in with the world card. This is a desire to have success, to see something come to completion, to work something out, to bring something together. I also have to say with it showing up in your daily life life, you could be getting some real success or recognition like in your life, in your work, if there's things creative. I know this is a love reading, but it's sitting here right next to the eight of pentacles and your potential outcome. So something you've been working on could really be paying off. And I do feel like love, work, all of that is all completely connected. It comes from the same place. And I do feel like you're calling in some sort of success, even if you have been maybe, you know, holding back or taking, you know, taking things slow or careful in a connection, you know, or thinking things that maybe you haven't talked about I do feel like you're still drawing this person towards you in their daily life they've got the full energy Aries and Aquarius for me as a reader but this is zero point cleared karma fresh start which makes perfect sense now and I didn't even I didn't even think about it I was so drawn to like trying to sort out what was going on with this death card and this justice energy with that moon which was something hidden I didn't even realize that we've got a full energy which is zero point clean slate fresh start this person could have gone through like a major release of something and I feel like it's so that they can come towards you in a more balanced way so that they can come towards you freely because with the fool that is exactly what this person is doing I mean this is somebody who is ready to take a leap ready to take a step we do have this fool is also sitting by, by an ace card which we'll talk about in a minute but in some some cases, you know, for those of you looking for new, could definitely be somebody new coming towards you. Maybe they're releasing or getting out of something, but it's somebody who is ready for a fresh start, somebody who is genuinely looking for love. A lot of you do have somebody specific on your mind, though, and I feel like maybe they finalized and released some things once and for all that may have been standing in the way or holding them back from just freely making some sort of move, but this is somebody who wants to take a leap towards you. And... <clears throat> In your heart's face, you've got the justice. In their heart's face, they've got the lovers. And in their head space, they've got the justice. So I really feel like there's definitely this like energy of both of you on some level really feeling this connection. And knowing that you've met for a reason, knowing there's something to this, knowing that this could, you know, run deeper than you even expected or plan on planned but it's like both of you are feeling this so strong in your heart space having this justice energy libra again um could be significant i think you are holding space for something that is balanced something that is right somebody that you know you know if i send them a message they're going to message me back you know like that kind of energy and maybe you know if with this ace of wands in reverse you have held back from taking some sort of steps because you want to know is this going to be balanced and just and right and 
fair. I want somebody who also puts in the energy. I know at a time in my life, I was absolutely crazy about somebody, but it was like, I always had to be the one to reach out. And eventually I was like, this isn't right. Like, why do I always have to be the one? Even though my feelings remain strong, I didn't want to have to be the one making the effort all the time. So it definitely could be this energy here of, you know, both of you feeling that way and um, because the justice is on both sides but ultimately it's like somebody's got to take the step but it does have to be reciprocated and I think that is what you're holding space for your person in their heart space does have the lovers and I feel like this showed up in Aries reading, but it was also, yeah, it was also connected to full energy. And after a whole other reading, these cards getting all shuffled around, these two came out like kind of similar together. Um, if you have strong Aries in your chart or dealing with an Aries, there might be something there. But the lovers here in your person's heart space, I feel like it goes without saying. It is Gemini energy. So it is specifically, you know, somebody thinking about you, holding you in their heart. But it also is the energy of somebody who is aware. They're deeply aware that there is more to this than, you know, maybe they ever expected or intended. If it is somebody new, it could definitely be like, like a intense feelings from the moment, you know, from the moment you meet. But in many cases, you know, the two of you, it's like, you do know who this person is. You do have them on your mind. And maybe it took some sort of, you know, ending a release in their life for them to realize, you know, what this is and how much it matters because I feel like you are the, their whole world. You are in their heart. You are what this person is hoping for. They're feeling like, you know, they have met you for a reason. You're the person because lovers is all about choices that they're choosing and that they want to be chosen by you. And with major arcana showing up in both of your heart space, it does feel like there's something very significant about this connection. So, your intentions are the three of wands. Aries energy, again, could be significant. Um, but the three of wands is your ships coming in. It's being ready to get out there and explore something. You know, there's attraction, there's interest, there's a desire to talk, there's this feeling, you know, that this could really be something, something you're wanting to explore. You could be feeling, you know, like something that you're hoping for is coming towards you. But I always feel like with the three of wands, it is somebody who's still a little bit in like wait and see mode. They're looking out, that ship is coming towards them. It's not like they're diving in and swimming towards that ship. They want to see, you know, once that ship gets a little closer, is that my ship? Is that what I've been hoping for? I almost feel like there's this patient but very strong interest here of, you know, wanting to know. And there is a desire to talk. Even though we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, you're holding, you know, the Ace of Wands here. And there is a desire to talk. There is a, an attraction. There is a desire to explore this. But it's almost like you want to know, like, is this what I've been hoping for? And I feel like, you know, this could... This could come together um, and even take you by surprise because the three of wands is your ships coming in, something you've been hoping for. Your person's intentions are the high priestess, which is very quiet. Cancer Pisces Virgo for me as a reader, but um, thinking very deeply strong psychic connection, you are feeling them, they're feeling you. There's this deep knowing and intuitive awareness that the two of you, you know, that there's something here, there's something undeniable. Even if it isn't some, you know, somebody that really talks like that, that high priestess has a, has a depth to them. You know, it's very spiritual. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of intuition and psychic energy. Could be somebody thinking about you, dreaming about you. With the uh, temperance energy, you know, it's it's twice over here. Could be seeing signs, you know, could be feeling drawn towards you. But there's this deep feeling that for some reason, there's they're choosing to be a little quiet about. And it feels like it's like going back and forth on both sides, almost like the other person, like, you know, wants... Um, like once both of you want the other person to take a step or make a move. Obviously, you know, it's not going to be the case because it's very specific in every single situation, but I'm definitely picking up on that. But let's go ahead and want to see why we have the high priestess as their intentions here. What is it that this person intuitively, oh my goodness, knows and is holding in their heart? We have the four of cups. I don't know if you guys could see. It just kind of flew out and landed in reverse. Four of cups in reverse actually a little better than four of cups upright on the bottom of the deck so much mirroring energy like some of you could be dealing with a strong soul connection we've got the three of wands 
they also want this. It's like both of you want to see, you want to talk, you want to come together, you want to explore this, you want to see if this is the real deal. You both feel like this could be a wish come true. For me, with the bottom of the deck energies, it's somebody, something somebody feels and is aware of, but maybe hasn't fully acted on yet. But we got the Four of Cups in reverse, Cancer energy there. Four of Cups upright is somebody who's looking at the current situation, not fully happy, not fully satisfied, but they're so guarded. You know, it's like the traditional tarot. They're sitting under a tree with their arms folded, looking at the Three of Cups. They can't see that beautiful Ace of Cups coming from the universe, coming from divine. I feel like the universe has been maybe trying to get this person's attention for a while. And suddenly with the Four of Cups in reverse, it's like this person puts their arms down. They open their heart, you know, they put Put down that guarded energy and they look up and they see maybe I do have a chance maybe this is possible I see this person reaching for this ace of cups because the very next card is the ace of cups it's like they're realizing this could really be something this could really be an opportunity I almost feel like they're reaching out for that ace of cups and offering it to you your potential outcome here we have the eight of pentacles the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, strong Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, but we do have this Eight of Pentacles, which is this beautiful energy of I'm willing to, you know, go the distance, see what can happen, see where this can go, put in the energy, explore this. I am willing to do my part and take these steps, but it's paired with a Seven of Swords and um. A seven of wands. The seven of swords can be a little bit secretive. I don't see it as a negative card. It depends upon what is around it. Um, because this person who is being secretive, you know, the important thing is like, whose side are they on? This is somebody who is stealing, you know, swords out of the enemy camp. Ultimately, you know, it can be to keep a battle from happening. It can be, you know, it can be for so many reasons, but it like, you know, sometimes it can be somebody keeping and holding things in because they don't want to fight, literally trying to prevent a battle. Um, but it is somebody who is holding something close to their heart. It is something who's making, somebody who's making some choices and somebody who ultimately, like for me, knows that they don't have to explain themselves to anyone. They know in their heart what is the right thing to do and they're making some important decisions. Sometimes it can be seen as selfish when somebody is making some decisions for themselves and not necessarily explaining, but we're the only ones that know what's best for us. We don't have to explain everything to everyone, but it's paired here with some really positive energies because it's somebody who wants to put in the energy, put in the time, and it's somebody who wants to take a stand for what matters. But both of these cards, it feels like you're getting some things sorted out, you're prioritizing, you're deciding what's most important, what is best, holding in things if you need to hold in with the Seven of Wands, taking a stand, saying no to things that don't serve so that you really can take a step because here's this Ace of Wands again. The Ace of Wands at the beginning of this whole reading may have been holding back. You know, maybe you are saying no to things that don't feel right. Maybe making some decisions and not explaining yourself to anyone, but it's so you can take a stand and move towards what really does feel right because your final card is a Queen of Wands. Spontaneous, positive, you know, it's an energy of somebody who is, you know, pursuing what they're passionate about, is taking some steps. If you feel guided, you could be, you know, thinking about taking something, something you've been holding in, something that you have been thinking, you know, maybe even guarding to yourself and taking a step and reaching out and saying something or doing something. This could also be messages and communications coming right towards you. It's a very spontaneous energy, somebody who's attracted to you, interested in you, taking a step to say what has been on their mind and in their heart. I feel like it could go both ways. I'm picking up on it, you know, from different energies, but your person's potential outcome is an Ace of Cups, a Temperance, and the World card. A lot of signs. I know not everybody enjoys hearing all the signs, but I know a lot of people feel like it's helpful. All the water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and then the fixed energies. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus can be significant here. But the energies are, first of all, we've got the world on both sides. We've got the justice on both sides. 
we've got the temperance energy showing up twice. I feel like there's definitely something, something that's right, something that's balanced, something that's meant to be yours, something that is positive, successful, um, and bringing people together that both of you, it's like both of you are ready for this. Both of you are calling this in. But I do feel like, you know, the way I saw that Four of Cups in reverse is somebody who maybe has been guarded reaching for that Ace of Cups. I feel like it is somebody who wants to take a step, make an offer because this Ace of Cups is falling in love. This Ace of Cups is opening up your heart. We've got the it paired with the Temperance energy here, which is divine timing, things unfolding in the right way in the right time. I think maybe, you know, somebody has been thinking about you, maybe has been interested in you for quite some time. Maybe they have been holding back what they're feeling, but with this Ace of Cups, this is somebody who's ready to bring that out in the open. They're attracted to you. They're drawn to you. They're interested in you. They're wanting to close any kind of distance between you. They want this to come together. They want this to, you know, work out. And I feel like this is somebody who's being guided to take some steps and to just make a move to speak up to open their heart and take a step. Now, some of you, if this is something new, it is something your guides have been working on for quite some time, and it is a new beginning in love. But for many of you, once again, it's like you know who's on your mind, you know who's in your heart. And I feel like with this world card, they're ready to overcome the challenges. They're ready to move beyond, you know, anything that has been separating the two of you because they feel like you're drawn together for a reason. And honestly, with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, they can't help falling for you. And they know it's time to make it happen. So that is a message that I have for you. I do hope something in here spoke to everyone who was guided to this reading. If you like the message, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. Thank you so much.